This is the realest and the rawest WMMA podcast on the planet. This is Savage WMMA fan podcast episode number 15. Let's go. So if the UFC offered you somebody like say Mariana Rodriguez, no, no, I don't need it. You know, I know they need me, but I don't need them. I don't need them. So for you, it's really your big game hunting. Wei Li, Rose, okay. the big hey, man, I was there. I was there for such a long time. I know. Like again, I tell you this. I, I tell I tell this one more time. People doubt me, uh, but I know my legacy. You know. <laughs> you hear that? Did you hear that shit? Marina Rodriguez, your motherfucking ass then got rejected by Bojangle Check. As expected. As motherfucking expected. All right. I, I couldn't wait. I had to go out of order for this shit, y'all. Savage W MMA Fan Podcast. Happy Friday, motherfuckers. So it's official. Marina Rodriguez ain't fighting no damn Bojangle check, okay? I mean, I think it's going to be like pulling toward horse teeth in order for motherfucking Dana White to get this this, this selfish motherfucker, <laughs> Joanna Bojangle check, to take a fight that's not Ray Rose the Whaley. And what the fuck he doing having her? You know, streaming the fight, and you know, so they can see her reaction, whether Rose or Whaley. It, it's it's all some bullshit. Just all some superficial bullshit, trying to you know generate a few dollars, but whatever. But 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 wait a minute though, I, I'm not done with you yet, Marina Rodriguez. Uh uh-uh, uh, I have to stay on Marina Rodriguez because, like I said in my video. This past week. That's why you don't do punk ass, hoe ass, lame ass call outs. You were supposed to call her out in the cage when you had the whole world, the whole world meaning whoever potential uh, pay per view buyers in the future. You understand? This shit isn't this shit isn't like algebra, okay? You know, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know. But at the end of the motherfucking day, I don't feel sorry for Marina Rodriguez. I really don't because all the fuck she had to do was call her out. And and, and I mean aggressively, okay? Like you were supposed to like insult Joanna's integrity or you're supposed to stir her up, okay? I listened to two interviews. I'll leave them both linked below. And one of the fucking interview, in this one, she's sitting there saying this shit that, <clears throat> you know, I, I've done it. I've done it all. I, I, There's nothing more for me to do but fight for a title. No, I won't fight anybody. But then five hours later, at least when, you know, the video was uploaded to YouTube and shit, she said, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens, you know, but. Spoiled bitch. But anyway, if she just would have called her the fuck out, like with some gravitas, with some some boldness, we wouldn't be sitting here dealing with this shit, okay? Motherfucking fork in the road. No motherfucker don't know where to go. Just, it's a damn shame. But I, I need to take this, I need to take this moment, just, just for a few moments, and just, it, it's time to flame Bojangle check. I'm so fucking tired of Bojangle check. You know, a lot of y'all motherfuckers talk shit about Rose and, and how Rose is crazy. How, you know, maybe some other fighter or something. But I'm like, this, this is the queen right here of delusionment, okay? This bitch keeps living four years ago. 
She thinks she's living on the merit of what she did four and five and six fucking years ago. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And the savage is sitting there looking just like, like, Joanna, you're trying to hide the fact that you really don't want to work hard no more. I mean, you basically said it in both interviews. You basically said, hey, these girls are getting better. And, well, I'm getting better, too. Yeah, but you ain't getting that much motherfucking better. Okay? Not with the way that fucking Wei Li blew your head up like that. Not with all them welts and shit up on the side of your motherfucking head. No. I mean, when your shit was healing, your skin around your face was black. You know what I'm talking about? So you ain't getting that much motherfucking better. What it is, you getting your ass whooped. <laughs> and you don't want to fight no top contenders no more. You know, just fucking say it. Say it. I'm a lazy motherfucker. All right? I'm lazy. This is what I do. I, 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 I just try to take, you know, the top fights, you know. And I think you was getting some good money from the company. And that's why you think you could just keep walking up there and, and just opening your motherfucking bag like it's Halloween and shit. And you can get all the motherfucking candy. But I, I don't think so, Joanna. I think it's over. I think you need to either just take a motherfucking fight or retire. Just do that. Take a motherfucking fight or retire, okay? Because don't nobody give a fuck about your five consecutive. That's a whole different era, okay? That's like if Ronda Rousey came back tomorrow. she get her motherfucking ass whooped, Okay? Because the competition level has raised. I mean, hey, she took some fights. She took some motherfucking fades. But when a competition got real good, you see she got her ass whooped. And you see what's been happening to you. You see what I'm saying? You can figure this shit out, Bojangle Check. You ain't that fucking stupid. You crazy. I mean, you're terrible. And, 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 and y'all, listen, listen, seriously, though. When I was listening to that interview, the same interview you just heard the clip from, right? Motherfucking Bojangle check verbally bitch smacking uh, Marina Rodriguez out of a potential elimination match. That same interview, right? That interviewer was such a motherfucking simp. Joanna Bojangle checks. I don't know what the fuck y'all be seeing. And, and, and Joanna Bojangle check. I don't get it. Okay. Everything on her is fake. Her titties, her smile, her kindness. And here's another thing I want to talk about real quick, okay? Uh, she was congratulating Rose and talking about how good Rose is and and how she, she knew that Rose was going to win in the first round and that was her prediction or whatever. Look, I don't know. I don't fucking know if any of that shit is true. But I'm actually getting tired of these motherfucking fighters acting like they are all best friends and shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'll say probably 98% of those motherfucking fighters probably don't even like each other like that for real. You know what I'm saying? False humility. Uh, false friendships. I think it's all some bullshit. I do. Savage think these motherfuckers are just talking to be talking. Just running their damn mouth. Like, even Wei Lee. And we're going to talk about Wei Lee a little bit later. But even Wei Lee with this fucking bullshit about, yeah, after the fight, I want to I want uh, to uh, put Rose in a bed in China. And, and <laughs> I want to have her come. And I want to show her around. And I, hopefully we can be friends. after. Yeah, of course you want to be friends with a motherfucker after you think you about to whoop their motherfucking ass. Yeah, you was going to be friends with motherfucking Joanna. And I, I shout out to Coach Sheldon Harrison. He had a video recently talking about, you know, these fake ass Whaley fans and how they use racial shit and all that. I, I'll link that too. And, 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 you know, double standard type shit, right? One dude, I think the name was TJJ. Shout out to that commenter because they were saying, yeah, the only reason. <laughs> Way Lee wanted to be friends with motherfucking Joanna is because she wanted to fight. She lose that fight. She ain't thinking about that motherfucker. Man, shout out. That was a great fucking point, man. 
that 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 was just a savage execution of a point being made in the comment section. Like when motherfuckers win, they want to be friends with everybody. But when most motherfuckers lose, they ain't got shit to say. They 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 turn around. They leaving the motherfucking uh, cage. They looking the motherfucker up and down like, how the fuck you beat me? You know what I'm saying? So all the false friendship shit don't mean shit, okay? All right, you worry about being friends like weeks down the road and shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, you know. But, you know, Joanne is a fake motherfucker, and she's a racist motherfucker too, you know. And, <laughs> you know, this dude played this word game with her. You know, the the, the Joanna Bojango check simp that thought that she should have been in Black Widow or something. No, get the fuck out of here. Well, she was a spider, like a step all over her ass. But anyway, at the end of the day, he was sitting there talking shit like, yeah, uh, what do you think what comes to your mind when and when I say Kobe Covington? And it's like, oh, uh, I think uh, douchebag loser or something, something to that extent she said or whatever. I'm like, nah, nah, that was your gym partner, okay? That was your that was your racist partner in crime, you know, fake motherfucker. Fuck it, I'm done. I'm done ranting about Joanna. I get her. I get her some more this week. We got time. We got motherfucking time. So, Antonina Shevchenko versus Andrea Lee. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. There's a video. I just uploaded it several hours ago. Go look at the motherfucking video. But. Just to recap my thoughts, basically, Andrea Lee has good game all around, but it's to a fault. You know what I'm talking about? Andrea Lee has some stand-up game and some ground game. And the problem is, when she fights Anthony Shevchenko, I think she's going to cancel herself out. I really do. Because I don't think her, her stand-up can handle... The Muay Thai sister. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think she's going to get bloodied up pretty fast. And she's going to have to get it to the ground. Now the question is. Can she compete on the ground. With this version. Of. Antonina Shevchenko. I'm not so sure. I just think Antonina. Just needs to just. Keep it standing up. And then eventually. When. <laughs> When Lee can't take no more. Just finish her the fuck off, you know? Send her ass out into the motherfucking sunset, you know? And maybe she can go to some other organization. I hear uh, Megan Anderson just got uh, picked up. Maybe PFL. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But, hey, you know, there's a place for a motherfucker like Andre Lee. There's always a place for a blonde. So, anyway. Now the fight that I'm really anticipating, just 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 a hair more, because I really want to see what Antonina does to Andrea KKK Lee. Vivian Arujo versus Caitlin Chikagian. So look, it's simple. She needs to get this done in two rounds. Just like I said in my video, that's up. My prediction video. She needs to get this shit done in two rounds. Don't be in there playing around. Close the distance. We know that Chikagian has a weak core. She's soft in the middle. For all her height, for her alleged 5'9", you can close the distance pretty quick. And I think that Artujo has the quickness and the athleticism. The only thing is, will she be able to wear Chikagian down properly? And what I mean by that, I just mean that is she going to like damage her with a bunch of punches? Is she going to mix in the ground game? I mean, I, I think she's probably going to have a balanced fight to where it's going to be it's going to be extremely violent. And aggressive, but I think she's gonna pace herself a little bit. Cause I think she wants to leave something in the tank just in case she can't get your keg in completely out of there. You know what I'm talking about? 
she wants to be able to potentially go the distance if she has to. That's what I think. So I think it's going to be a decision. I think she's going to hurt Chikay into the body. Um, Aruja has a great jab when she uses it. And she was really using it in that Mother Fairy fight. So if she used that jab, maybe she can uh, damage Chikagin's, uh legs a little bit, break her down. Because Chikagin ain't going to stop you. Chikagin is going to stop you and ask you how you enjoying the fight. And then she's going to go back to doing her motherfucking dance, dance revolution. That's about as much stopping you don't get from fucking Chikagin. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I got Arujo. By decision, I probably didn't change my mind. So, if the video I said I was that Star Ujo was gonna stop her, or oh, it is what it is, I'm just feeling at the moment like it's gonna be a decision. So, let's go, Star Ujo. All right, what do we have left? Okay, so Willie Willie Young said, uh. <laughs> I stepped into the arena that night and the booze got to me. The booze took me the fuck out. You know, I, I, I resisted making a video on this shit. I really did. Like something in me was holding back. Like of all the excuses for losing a fight, you use this. Okay. Like. Joe Lewis had people sending him death threats and people in the crowd chant, nigger, 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 nigger. Like, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't like, I understand, you know, maybe, maybe she's never been booed like that before, but I'm like, that's not why you lost the fight. You lost the motherfucking fight because you got hit in the head with a fucking kick. That's what the fuck happened, Whaley. I mean, you just, you got knocked the fuck out. That's the, that, that's it. That's the end of the motherfucking story. I can't really put it on anything else. You feel me? So look, we just, we how about we just forget the whole thing, okay? We just forget the whole motherfucking thing. But 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 but, but I, I hope the next time. If if you ever fight Rose, and I'm in this again, this is what I really hope. I hope that I get the ref to motherfucking fight. And then when 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 Rose kick you in the motherfucking head again, and, and then I look down at you, and you look up and you say, I'm seeing stars. I'm going to politely ask your ass, well, is it enough stars to fill up the arena to make a crowd so you can have another excuse? Why you lost <laughs> lost to get Rose not be doing this? Know what I'm talking about, Whaley? So, we're going to leave it alone, Whaley. And we're going to leave this shit alone, Whaley fans, okay? Because it don't make no sense. Y'all get so fucking aggressive for Whaley. But when it comes to other fighter shit, y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all don't give a flying fuck. And I'm not talking about everybody that's a Whaley fan. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not talking about you, you versatile motherfuckers, you intellectual, you know, free-thinking motherfuckers, you know. I'm talking about y'all casual idiots out there, you know. Y'all motherfuckers who, you know, y'all all move in the same direction, swaying back and forth like a like a, like a school of fucking angelfish or some shit. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all motherfuckers. Yeah. Fuck y'all. All right, the savage of the week. So guess what? Savage didn't get no motherfucking rest. Savage didn't even get all his images and artwork how he want to do it. So I apologize for you motherfuckers who love slides on these uh, podcast videos. Sorry. I just had to work the mouthpiece the best I could tonight. Maybe next week. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on E right now. So... I don't even know who the fuck the Savage of the Week would be. I, a lot of people got their ass whooped, though. I don't know. Uh, Marcus Bell, uh, Mr. Lee, Combo Just can, can y'all just, like, put a comment of who you think deserves it? Cause if you put Marina Rodriguez name down, I'm, telling, I'm blocking you. 
I'm motherfucking blocking you. I don't care who does. Don't put Marina Rodriguez's name down there. That bitch ain't no savage. She, she looked. Nah, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say I just I don't like her, okay? I, I, I think she's pretty butt ugly, okay? I'm not going to call her a savage because I don't want to get confused with certain motherfuckers. Anyway, so with that said, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Um, enjoy the motherfucking fights. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, hopefully Savage can take a nap eventually after he eats his uh fast food dinner. This is the rawest and the realest W MMA podcast on the planet. This is Savage W MMA fan. And I'm out.